Hi students, happy to meet you again. Today we are going to see an interesting topic, sexual reproduction in plants. Now, parts we recall in lawyer studies we learnt a parts of a flower, a flowers are reproductive part of a plants. Now, a plant as almost all the flowering plants bears flowers, noticeable flowers. A flower has four parts. They are arranged in a ring or whorls. Ring or whorls. What are the four things? First one is calyx, petals, now that is, is a stamen and a pistil. These are arranged in four layer, four whorls. Now, from the outermost to inner, the first whorl of the flower is calyx or green in color, which helps in protective in function, protective in function. Next whorl is called petal, we, otherwise we call the word is corolla, corolla, otherwise we call the word is corolla. Now the brightly colored which attract the insects, which attract the insects, second whorls. Third one is stamen, inner to the inner whorl, stamen, the stamen is consists of mainly the two thing and third and filament the anther is made up of very minute yellow powdery like substances are called a pollen grain the pollen grain which contains male gamete, male gamete. Now, stamen is the male part of the flower. The next, pistil. The pistil is the female part of the flower, center part of the flower or innermost whorl of the flower. The pistil consists of mainly at the base it has a what we say this structure. This is, is called the word is ovary, swollen ovary continues to form a long tube, long tube. This is we call the what is a style, style. At the end it has a knob like structure or call the word is stigma. So, this is a part of the what means a pistol, pistol is otherwise we call the word is carpel, pistol is otherwise we call the word is carpel, female part of the flower. Now, the first two whorls, calyx and corolla is a not help in the reproduction in function. They are known as non-essential whorls, non-essential whorls. The remaining stamen and a pistil which are helps in reproductive in function, that is why they are called a essential whorl of the flower, essential whorl of the flower. Now, Parts, sepals, petals, stamen, and carpels. If any flower which bear these all these structures, that flower is called a complete flower. Complete flower. Now this is a hibiscus is a complete flower. Complete flower. If it is one or two, will be say absent. Mean that flower is known as incomplete flower. Incomplete flower. Now next, stamen. A stamen is consists of anther and filament, anther and filament. And the anther is a swollen structure which is present on the tip of the filament, tip of the filament. The anther produces a powdery substance called pollen grain. Pollen grain contains male gamete. Carpel or a pistil. Carpel is the basal or swollen part. This is a swollen part, ovary. The ovary continues to form a long uh, tube. This is we call the word is style. 
this is we call the what is style. Now, this is a style, upper part we call the what is stigma, stigma is always sticky in nature to receive the what means a pollen grain. Within the ovary, many chamber is there that we call the what is ovule. The ovule contains a large excel that is a female gamete, female gamete, female gamete. Now, types of flower. There are two types of the flower. If it is any flower which bear both the male and female parts are present in the same flower are known as bisexual flower. Otherwise, we call the word is hermaphrodite. Bisexual, otherwise we call the word is hermaphrodite. Example, pea, mustard, sunflower and a china rose. That is hibiscus, chambariti. <coughs> Next, unisexual. What is mean by unisexual? In some flower, the male and female parts born in different flower. Different flower. Such flower is known as unisexual. Unisexual. Example: date palm, papaya, mulberry, etc. 